Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. Um, welcome back to part two. And literally it's the same recording. I just have to break it down into two videos because it was getting way too, too long. So I did cut out more of the Cricut, um, I don't know what that paper, specialty paper is. Really heavy cardstock for my lid in the green. And then I cut out some of the pink, mainly to match the inside right here, this paper. So I'm gonna get these put in. I'm gonna try <laughs> to speed this up. Um, you know, you, I'm just making a box. This is my first time creating using that um, box making die and you know, you have to practice. It takes practice. It's not going to be perfect with me ever because I just can't get it that perfect, you know, to perfectly fit. So there's going to be a little push and shove here in the box because it's not lined up exactly um, with the box making edge on the outside. But that's okay. It's as good as it's going to get. Um, I'm, I'm okay with it. So I'm going to use my bone folding tool. Oh my gosh, you can't even see. So there you go. So I just put some glue on there. And I'm just going to rub this down. That way the paper is adhered to the box. And covering most of my blemishes. But I thought this would be a really, really cute um, use of this paper because I've had the shorts die and I was like, oh my gosh, it would be so cute cut out in some tropical paper. And look, lo and behold, we've got the wild heart, but then I also found that paper from Walmart and if you missed part one, go check out part one because it shows a flip through of the papers. So there is the inside, which I am happy with. Now, <laughs> before I came on, I cut those, but then I forgot. I need to cover this too. So I'm gonna figure that out in a minute, but right now I'm just gonna cover this on the front piece. This is our lid to the box. And this Cricut cardstock I bought on clearance, guys. So on Amazon. I'm sorry I was working off frame, out of frame, but I was trying to see the edge of my paper. You know, as crafters, we can't talk and craft at the same time <laughs> to save our life. So if I sound weird, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna put this down on the outside and rub it down from in here. So get that all pushed on there. Nice and even. Okay, rub that down. Make sure it's all kind of stuck down. Okay, look at that. Ooh, that's okay. It's gonna be covered majority of this. So I need to cut it one more time to get our, oh, the other thing I wanna do was punch um, some half circles on here. So let me grab my punch, my circle punch this, not cut it, punch it. Some thumb holes so we can pull our box apart. All right, so get this piece. It's not gonna be exact. I like putting it on the side so that way. Oof. So that way it's not in the front of the box. It's so obvious. Trying to get it about the same. It's not the same, but close enough. 
<sighs> okay, put this over here. Oh my god, you guys, my room, my desk, everything. Everything is a mess. All right, so there you go. You got your little thumb holes on the side there. We got our shorts on. Now I just gotta cut, cut this part um, and also put something on this edge right here to cover up my blemish. Could actually cut part of, oh, no, maybe not. No. Um, good enough, but still gonna cover that edge. Okay, I'll be back. All right, guys, so I added the paper on the back. I love it. Um, added the little thumb holes here so we can hold it and open it up. Um, this box is pretty sturdy and I love how thick it is. Let's measure. It is about two and two and one eighth. So very nice size box. And then, you know, you can display, you can put your mini album in here. So I figured that I have to make the mini album out of the inner shorts, which is the one with the details, and use that to fit in here because we also want to add some, uh, some binding um, to figure out how we want to, let me see if it covers this side, yes. Um, how we want to open our our um, shorts. So I have to cover, this will become our new um, cover with the heavy, you know, chipboard. Oh, not heavy, but uh, I can't think. I can't think now. <laughs> oh my gosh. The heavy chipboard? No, cereal box. Okay. Let me do this. I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and cut my details for the cover. And then I will put you guys on time lapse. Because I think I can use my smaller die cutting machine up here because I've been cutting on the floor. And it's killing me. It's killing my back. Oh my gosh. It's just so difficult to be a crafter. Oh my God. Yep. So there we go. Cover that. Perfect. Loving these shorts. Oh my gosh. These shorts are so cute. Okay. So let me put the cover back on here. I will decorate the box um, off camera, but right now I think I want to die cut my shorts details. So this goes. Let's see. I might want to use the pink Cricut details for these shorts. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna use those later. So I'm gonna push this away. All right, let's see. Put the smaller die machine up here. Put this on the, oops, cover my glue. All right. Let's get it started. Okay. And then we have green. Yellow. I think I'm gonna go with pink. Let's do all the pink details. What is this part? Is this the cuff? No, this is the waistband. That's where that goes. Let's cut this out. I should have left the bow together with this. Oh my gosh. Da -do -do. Da -do -do -do.
We'll put you on time lapse. Okay, guys. Oh my gosh. I think I'm tired. <laughs> I think I'm beat. But um, here we go. I've, I've cut out everything that I wanted in pink. So, where does this go? Does it go down here? Oh boy, I forgot. Kind of, there's a kind of a waistband where it should go. And I'm just trying to remember where does it go? So here's the, um, oh boy. Had you zoomed in, sorry. So here's the waistband and here's the cuffs for the shorts. And then we have the pockets to go on here. Okay, and then these are the belt loops, but I think, I think I want to cut them out of green, the print. So, let's see if I can cut it out of the print. Because I don't need... I mean, I don't want pink. I don't want the pink on the pink, right? Because it doesn't look, it needs to contrast somehow. And I just want the belt loops, so let's make sure that the, the loops are on the paper. Trying to get it on there, right? You'll see. All right, so I cut them out. The cut the belt loops out of the green. And I think I think I'm happy with that. I'm gonna do that. Let's get these glued on here. We have our belt loop and our bow. I think I'm going to add the bow pieces to each other. Just glue. Where, where did my glue go? <laughs> where did you go? I'm not going to pop it up. I'm trying to keep it somewhat flat and just line up the bow with the knot. Okay. Okay, just keep it like that. I'll clean these off before I attach it. I'm gonna glue these down, the pockets to the side. Let's get the die cutting machine out of the way, get these out of the way. This um, Cricut paper wants to curl. Um, we shall see. So you can see there's a notch right here on the side. And maybe see it better on this side. See that little tiny notch? And we wanna line that up at the top. Okay. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, you can use this piece to layer on there, but I'm going to not use that and use the, just use the belt since we got hot pink going on on this little shorts. <laughs> Who would have thought? It's so cute. 
so very cute. Okay. There's going to be a little bit of hang over on the edge. That's okay. It's going to give it some depth. You see that? Very cute. So let me see. Yeah, I want the belt loops visible, so I'm going to put it on the side there. You know what? Right. Like that? No. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead with that. Add the belt loops to the side here. And get this beady on. And I'm putting it all the way out here so that we can see the belt loops. You know. There we go. Put this back on. Just want to see where I want it. Yep, I'm going to put it right there. And go in the right direction. Just looks like real, like real shorts. <laughs> All right. I'm also thinking I want to add some dangle bits on here. <laughs> All right, and then the pocket um, details go, go on. Right there. You don't really see the pockets, eh? There we go. All right, let's get these pockets on. It's got stitch uh, details on here. Very cute. Very, very cute. There we go. Oh my God, I love it. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna add these down here on the bottom to the cuffs on the bottom of the shorts. Girl. There you go. That's cute. This is a cute pair of shorts. I wish I really had these shorts. It would be super cute. Super cute. This I love. I love it. Love it. Okay, so there's a little bit of overhang on these shorts. I don't care, I don't mind at all. I'm gonna just give, oops, kind of put a kink in that one. It's okay. Just add that onto the belt. I am not gluing it all. I'm just gonna glue in the knot, right where the knot is. You can see both the pockets. 
very cute. Oh my gosh, that's our cover, guys. <laughs> that is our cover. Da, 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 da. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right. Guess what? I'm going to have to make a second one of these. Um, oh no, this was supposed to be my, my album cover. Oh boy. <laughs> That's the one thing uh, you got to remember is making these 3D projects, you have to cut these things multiple times. So put the box away and yeah. <laughs> so let me okay we're I think I think we're gonna end this one so um cut that off real quick yeah um I'm gonna end it here I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> two-part series of how to make a box and um, how to assemble this beautiful um, shorts die set. I will put the cover on the back or a layering paper on the back and create my albums. So I'm gonna end this here. The next time you see this project, it'll probably be, probably be a project share and not a naughty craft with me okay so thank you all for watching and i hope to see you on the next video please go check out anna's website it is mycraftingworlddesigns.com and uh it'll be also the same for her um instagram and her her youtube so i'll share the links in the description box down below and don't forget if you want to buy some dyes from her or whatever's in her shop, use my code Eileen10 and you'll get a you know 10% discount at checkout. So see you all on the next crafty video. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It's free to join the crafty family. And also um, hit the notification bell and that'll let you know when I load a new video or when I go live with a few of our crafty friends. So thank you all again and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.